Hello and welcome friend. In this tutorial, we will try to look at signal handler. We have already covered signal handler, uh, but we will also try to look in, in this example, how we can raise an alarm signal within the process itself and how it can be trapped or caught. So this is the generic functions, the way we write the signal handler. Uh, when I say generic, that doesn't mean that the entire function should be generic. The, sign, uh, the signature is very much generic. However, you can have different contents here as part of the body of the function. Depends upon what you want. I could have written 10 lines of printf or maybe one line of printf depending upon your use case. So let's start with main. The process starts with the main and it will set up a signal handler here. So before we set up the signal handler, what it does is it sets up an alarm signal, which means it sets up a trigger that after five seconds, you raise a alarm signal internally. We have seen in the past that processes, you can uh, send a signal using a kill, uh, kill from the command line, or you can use the kill API from within a C program or system programming or Linux or Unix, whatever. But here it is within the process itself, you are raising a signal. So you use this alarm, this uh, call is already provided by the system. So you use alarm. So after five seconds, an alarm will be raised. Now when an alarm is raised, there has to be a signal handler. If there is no signal handler, the process would terminate abruptly because there is no one to handle that call. So we raise a signal handler and then in the signal handler, whatever we want to do, we will do and then we will do a normal exit. Now here, if you see here, I'm not exiting my process because if the process exits before raising a signal, then it will be lost. So to do that, what I do is I make it as an infinite loop and I am also doing a slip for one second in each of this loop. The reason being, I don't want it to overwhelm the system by utilizing too much of CPU resources by running very quickly. So let's run this program and see what happens. So you, like I said, the alarm will be delivered after five seconds. And once the alarm is delivered after five seconds, signal handler will be called when the alarm is delivered and then it will print the signal number and then it will exit the process. So even if you see here that when the signal is trapped, even though this is an infinite process loop, when the signal is caught, it will exit the process. So it will no more block here. So let's run this. And I have the executable a dot out. And if I run this, you see after five seconds, it will come out and al alarm delivered signal is 14. And also you can check by the time command time gives how much time a particular process takes to execute. This is a separate command, which you can run from a command line. So this you can run with any binary. So here, what it means is it takes five seconds, five seconds and few milliseconds, whatever to execute. So approximately five seconds for the signal delivered and then rest of the others for um, other processes related work, whatever you it wants to do, context switching, maybe it's loop, whatever. So you see here, it took exactly five seconds. Now, if you see here, it exited my process. If I don't exit the process, if I return it here, let's suppose. And for system programming, you are supposed to give uh, comments like this as a single line comment. But uh, I, I can sometimes, I have this habit of writing mixing C, C++. So I give like this. It works in in the compiler if you are not using a strict C99 compiler. But depends upon use case, you might not want to use that. Now, I when the signal is delivered, I'm not doing exit. Let's see what will happen after this. So if I run this process, compile and run this now, Let's see time. It time anyway. It will not. I know that it will not come out. So, but so no need of giving a time. So see what happens. You see, the alarm is delivered. It has printed, but the process is still running. It has not returned me the prompt back. And the reason for that is because it's not exiting. If you would have done some other work here, let's suppose you do some other work here. Let's do some interesting work here. Let's suppose you say system which is another <coughs> excuse me extra to call a some external binary or uh, something like that so bin ls just bin ls you call it system call 
and if you run this what will happen so after five seconds signal will be delivered and it will print the content ls and you see it printed ls the content of ls so in this folder if you do run ls you have this three file alarm alarm video a dot out it printed all those things so it depends upon use case what exactly use case you want to do in the signal handler you have to code accordingly if you just want to exit your process you could have written exit zero and when the signal is delivered and when it returns back it starts executing from the same line however it will start executing from this line only start executing from this line only if not exited in signal handler so if you would have exited here in signal handler of course it cannot execute any further so this is the way you write alarm call so if you want to do something like your process needs to be raised uh, raise some signals and you want to handle that you can do that let's do one more thing let's suppose we are raising an alarm that means we are sending an alarm but there is no signal handler and i'll just comment it out for now so if you see here this is a signal handler function which is unused now we i could have comment this out but let me just do this and see what happens now if i run this a dot out and after five seconds the signal would be delivered to the process and it says alarm clock and if you see here actually it's a segmentation spot you ha I have not set my u limit and or anything so if you see here it is an abnormal not exactly segmentation fault i take it back it's an abnormal termination of process how do i know that with experience but you could run with s stress a dot out and what s stress binary will do is it will try to trace all the binaries all the system calls which is happening in that particular binary so let's run it so see now it is sleeping each time it's sleeping for one second nanoseconds and then you see it's killed actually this process is being killed because there is no one so at this moment it will sleep for one two three four five seconds and after that it is interrupted by a signal and then there is no one to handle the signal and that's why the process got killed so even though you see there is an infinite loop you have the infinite loop here it didn't stop the process it didn't stop the process from getting killed it still got killed so you have to remember that if someone is raising a signal that signal needs to be trapped or caught and only all the signals can be caught except for signal number nine which is kill minus nine you cannot catch that signal all other signals you can catch now alarm signal when alarm raise a signal this is sig alarm we have to catch that you have to catch particular signal let's suppose i'm raising an alarm sig alarm and i say sig int here what will happen now let's see this example now so this time i run normally without any stress because i know already what's going to happen it is going to same thing is going to happen same thing the reason is because you have to use sig alarm if you see here I'm raising a signal as sig alarm, but you have to catch sig alarm. I'm catching sig int, but it is not getting sig int here. At this moment, it is getting sig alarm. So I have to catch sig alarm. You see, it's again got caught by sig alarm. Now, if I say sig alarm, then this particular handler will be called when sig alarm is there, and then it will print this ls and it will execute normally and it will continue to execute you see here so it continued to execute it printed the system call ls bin ls whatever is there and then it starts continuing executing from fall so what happened was when let me refresh again the when alarm is being set up that means it will raise a signal after five seconds of the process is startup and it's just running in the background it will not block for this but after five seconds it will raise a signal and then this is also 
not block it is just you are setting up a signal handler so these two calls are not blocking that it's waiting for this to complete then go to the next line no these two will run in parallel so it's just something you did it and it's done and then the signal will be raised while the process is executing this after 5 seconds the signal alarm is raised and as soon as the signal alarm is raised we already have a sig handler installed for that signal that will get called and then it will print this it will print ls and then it will continue doing what it was doing earlier if you exit here it will exit the whole process that's the way it is supposed to work now we have also seen that the signal number 14 it says sig alarm 14 you can see this by kill minus l and if you see here 14 is sig alarm so that's the way you know that the alarm signal is right the number which you are getting is actually match signal whatever you are getting is coming from here sig alarm and this sig alarm is being raised because alarm method actually calls sig alarm so you can also look for man alarm as a function and see what it does alarm arranges for sig alarm signal to be delivered to the calling process in seconds so you have to read the descriptions return value if you really want to be good in system programming thank you all for watching this video and i hope to see you in my next video you have a nice time bye